All right, my name's Ander. I'm Alan's buddy. So today's kind of chilly. We're gonna go fishing at this pond uh, for bass, and then we're gonna go when it warms up. We're gonna go diving at the river down by here and try to get some treasure. And I hope you guys enjoy the video too. I be in the booth, losing some sleep. I got the ethic that works. No one can get it like me. I put in work. I'm gonna tie on a Texas rig on my baitcaster rod, I think. I'm thinking a jerkbait on my spinning rod, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'm gonna bring, make up a little tackle box spring with me, cause it's a bigger lake, and we're gonna go for a walk. It's freezing out this morning, um, but I think we can catch some bass for sure. There's a lot of weeds in this lake, so I'm gonna bring a frog too, and um, I think like a finesse jig. Here's a new finesse jig I just picked up. I think I'm gonna bring this guy for sure. It sounds good. See you guys. We're gonna head out on the water. If you like this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe if you have not yet. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw you guys on the chest. It's gonna be cool. Are you ready? Those are evil birds. That's red winged blackbird guys. Um, I hate them. Just, just an Allen fun fact. Evil. It's crystal clear today. It's pretty calm out. There's a little bit of wind, chop on the water, but that should help us out, especially with the water as clear as it is. Holy cow! It is crystal clear. That is beautiful. I don't know. Or hopefully they like the red craw. I got one nibble. Oh! One just swiped at it. It's huge. They're decent too. Man. It looked like you got what? Yeah, I caught the dove in after one. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I got a little Texas rig on. Yeah, I just. Yeah. Well, thank you. Have a, have a good nice day. <laughs> oh man. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. What the heck? I remember him. Cause it's blip. Yeah, I think I've caught that one before. Just chilling, dude. See? He doesn't like it. That's weird. So we got in the secret, secret, uh, secret pocket of baits. We got a dark sleeper. I might throw that. Spinner bait and a chatter bait. Hmm. Ah. Uh, you know. I think a chatterbait would be pretty decent. Thinking about the chatterbait. But a dark sleeper, that, that's a hard choice. What to throw, what to throw, what to throw, what to throw. Thinking about throwing a dark sleeper. That looks insane in the water, guys. If you've ever thrown a dark sleeper, you know how it is. If you haven't, I know they're expensive for, for a little swim bait, you know? But they are insane. I I normally don't throw them just because I feel like you can get a lot more swim baits for cheaper that work pretty similar. But to be honest with you, nothing beats a dark sleeper. But there's stuff that comes close that's way cheaper. I do agree with that. But nothing beats it. That's fish. That's fish. Oh yeah, it's not, t it's a dinky, but no, yeah, you guys saw it though, missed it, I got, I had one, it wasn't huge, but I, I switched up to a uh, moving bait, 
was dragging a Texas rig, switched up to a moving bait, and uh, bada bing, bada boom, second cast. All right, time to move, guys. New spot. We got one. We lost one, I mean. Didn't catch it. But we're moving to the next spot on the other side of the lake. Let's get it. Alive. In the mouth? What? Yeah. How'd you get, get it in? You, you're a legend, dude. Oh, no. Oh. He's just sitting right there. Grab him. Thing is nasty. Ooh. Look how beat up he is. His scales are all weird too. Look how weird his scales are. Look at those scales. Have you guys ever seen scales on a on a carp like that? Like that's that's weird. Yeah, he's super beat up. Look at his fins and stuff. Yeah, that's that's strange. Um let's release him. I guess I don't know how you caught that. That's <laughs> Are you okay, bud? No, he's, he's not. He's not doing good. Something's up with him. He's a very strange fish. We're gonna leave. Oh, I'm hooked in that booty. Look at this. He has a bluegill hook and a little piece of sinkle on that. Legend. But yeah, we're gonna move now. Boy, how does that happen? See this chicken wire? They put this here so the beavers can't eat this stick. And they still ate it. And they still ate it. Look, all these trees are like it too. That was this... just a bit ago. That was like a couple days ago or something. I don't know. That was recent. Look at that. How they chew through that? It's not like the chicken wire is bent or, or broken or anything. They just look at that one. They just put. They somehow gnawed through it. Yeah, that one's really. This one they like, they broke the thing, but here, here's the beaver trail right here. See, they've been coming in and out of this hole. Uh, the water's right right up in there. That is strange, I've never seen anything like that. What's wrong with this day? This day is weird. I mean, I guess it's good for a video though. You guys are entertained by this. Look at that, they're chewing it up. Weirdest fishing day. Ever. Weird. Hey, Xander. We're gonna wrap it up. All right, so we're wrapping it up here at this lake. We're gonna move to a little pond or something. Um, I'm gonna hop on Google Maps, you know, and uh, look around, see if I can find a little hole, hole in the wall spot, some random secret, uh, secret little pond to try out today for the video. And we're gonna give it a try, see if we can catch some random tanks out of a pond somewhere. Should be good, but yeah, we're this isn't producing like we need it too. So we gotta get moving. I knew it. What? I didn't even know it was recording. All right, guys, I think I found our next location. It's right down the street. Um, it's a little pond. And it looks like it's like in a neighborhood where it's a neighborhood pond. I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to go hit that really quick. Hopefully we can get on some fish there since this lake that I know is not doing so hot today. The fish are kind of in the middle of this lake. And yeah, we're gonna turn this into from just a straight up fishing day to a Google Maps fishing challenge. It should be good. Hopefully we can find some new juice. Um. We need I'm gonna need a frog and a weightless Texas rig because this pond is coated in weeds, of course. Hopefully it has fish in it though. One rod down. <laughs> weightless Texas rig on the other Next rod. Next rod up. What? Next rod up. Next rod up. I caught a carp earlier though. It's a four inch Gary Yamamoto. And this is gonna slay. In weedy ponds like this, this is like the juice. 
on my own today. Get on. They wouldn't be able to tell if you got shaved sideburns, to be honest. Me? They wouldn't be able to tell. If I was like this, if I was like this, they wouldn't tell. They wouldn't be able to tell. No. That's my bait. We're gonna catch them. What are you gonna do with that cat rod, bud? Huh? You got a catfish rod? Yeah. We need to get you another rod, dude. I know. Hey, when you come out on the boat with me sometime, uh, we'll, we'll have to rig, get rigged. Um, I'm not giving you anything because I'm, I don't have anything to give, but uh, we'll let you use other stuff. Guys, take a look at how many weeds there are. Pond number one. I don't know how long we're gonna stay here. It depends how the bite is. You guys are probably getting winded like mad right now because it's super windy all of a sudden. Yeah, it looks juicy though. You said there's lots of big fish in here? Buddy something. buddy over here just snagged in the tree. <laughs> um, he says there's just nice ones in here. I've never fished here, but I just found it on Google Maps. I showed it to him and he was like, oh yeah, I've fished there before, but I never have. So like insanely coated in weeds. They're not bass, but there's, there's bluegill in beds all over right here. Wait. You guys probably can't see them at all, I bet. Holy crap. Holy crap. He's right there. Oh. Where? You can see him still? Right over here. See, he, like, underneath that? Yeah, he's underneath those weeds. Screw it. Give my phone. My wallet. My keys. Yep, we're doing this. What? There's like an island out here though that I'm on right now. I want to get casted to that hole. <sighs> oh yeah, it's getting sexy in here now. I think it's time to move though to the next spot because this spot is not producing. And we've been here like, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour with no bites besides that one dink sand to caught. I mean, he's, he's on them today though. I haven't caught crap, I've lost some, but we're gonna get on them. But I'm gonna look on Google Maps again, see if I can find another pond or little puddle pretty much. Puddle hopping. Puddle hopping with the gang. Bite sucks though. Hopefully we can find them. See you guys in a bit. We just arrived at the last pond we are gonna fish today. I've never been here. He's never been here. Yeah, I have. No. No, you haven't. Um, we're going across the street to a pond that neither one of us have been to. Oh. Thought we were going to this one. Nope. Anyways, there's lots of weeds on this one too. We drove by it just a second ago. Lots of weeds, like the older one. So I'm gonna keep the same baits. All right, let's get going though. I can already tell this sucks. Oh yeah, lots of weeds. I see a juicy spot on the other side of the pond. I gotta go get to it before Sander. No! No, 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 hey, don't run, don't run, don't run. There's juiciness here. Don't spook them all, there's one right there. Bass, look at him. He's right there. Oh, get him. Get him. Hey, Daddy. Hey, don't walk over there. Look. Never mind. Hey, there's a phone case. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You see any bass up in there? No. Oh, never mind. You can take that side. I'll take this side, I guess. See, there's something up here. Nothing wants it today. That's my curse. My curse as always. I'm ascending it. Ooh, I almost lost my hat. All this hair on my head makes for uh, a not a very um, stable uh, place for my my hat to sit 
Here we go. Oh. No. I had one. Yeah, look, he ripped me me ponds down. He ripped me ponds. Look at his colors. Holy cow. That's cool. Wait, put them in the Dang, sun. that's beautiful. Dude's wrecking it on the catfish rod today. Yep. All right, guys, I think we're going to call it a day for the fishing. Yeah, this kid freaking slayed today. If you have not yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and join the AOA Army. We're almost 1K. It's pretty awesome. Uh, thank you to all you guys for that. Really appreciate it. I got merch on the way, so stay tuned for that. But we're going to head out um, and get some rice for my other GoPro because my other GoPro took a crap the other day. It's supposed to be waterproof, but it's not as waterproof as it says it is. Yeah. Anyway, Xander killed it today. If we were doing a challenge, like a uh, tournament challenge, he would have definitely won. We're not. We were just doing a little pond hopping challenge. Uh, if you guys like these videos, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. I'll keep doing these uh, Google Maps pond hopping challenges, plus more challenges in the future as well. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.